Hi, this is Kavita Suresh Kumar and I am going to demonstrate how IBM WebSphere Application Server Liberty Profile Production Docker Image can be built using the Docker file available in GitHub. We are going to make use of the Docker files available in the GitHub for creating the Docker image. Let's copy the repository URL for cloning. Let's clone the repository JIT clone and provide the URL. The repository is getting cloned. It has been successfully cloned. CD CI Docker, Sphere Liberty 855 and then production install folder. Here we have two folders add and wget. We are going to make use of the docker files available in the add folder. So cd add. So in this add folder we have the docker file and the server.xml file. Let's review the docker file. We are going to use Ubuntu 14.04 as the base image. Using the add instruction, IBM JRE binary is copied to the temp folder. And then using the run instruction, IBM JRE is installed. Then using the env instruction, the java home and the path environment variables are set. Again using the add instruction, the liberty runtime is copied to the temp folder and using run it has been installed. Then using the run instruction the default server is created and using copy instruction the server.xml is copied to the default server folder and we are going to expose two ports 9080 and 9443 to access the liberty server. And through the command instructions we are ensuring the default server will be started when the container is started. We are using add instructions to copy the IBM JRE. So let us copy the IBM JRE to the folder, add folder where we have the Docker file. The IBM JRE has been successfully copied. Now let us copy the Liberty Runtime Archive. That also has been successfully copied. So now we have the Docker file, server.xml and the IBM JRE and the Liberty Runtime Archive in the add folder. Now let us build the docker image. Docker build is a command to build the image. Liberty base is the name of the image and dot indicates the current folder. Context is sent to the docker daemon and it is using the Ubuntu as the base image and it has successfully added the IBM JRE and then it has installed the IBM JRE and it has set the environment variables java home and environment variable path. The Liberty archive is successfully added and then the Liberty has been successfully installed. The files are extracted to slash opt slash ibm slash wlp folder. The image has been built successfully. Now let us review the image build docker images and Liberty hyphen base. So the image has been successfully built 16 seconds ago and the size is 587.7 MB because we have used the add instruction. So both the IBM JRE and the Liberty Archive binary sizes are included in the built image. Thanks for watching the demo.